let's get a tablespoon in there to really show you the colour we've got from this wonderful sauce now. It's really sort of a stock, but we don't want it too much thicker than that. Remember, I'll just bring it up to the boil and add that little touch of cream. Let's just complete the sauce. So let's now add a few tablespoons of the cream. I think about three, you know, is going to be enough. And along with that, just a splash of brandy. And I think, again, that's a classic finish to most bisque sauces. Something else I'm going to add to that, in fact, is just going to be a little squeeze of lemon juice. And maybe to finish it, just to give it a silkier kind of finish, we'll also add just a little knob of butter. It's not really a cream sauce. Now, you can see there is a change there, change in colour, slight change in consistency, but still quite thin, not over thick. Right, now, time for the pasta. There's about eight ounces here of cooked, what we call linguine, almost like a flat spaghetti, I think you can see that. So this has just been very, very lightly cooked, just, of course, in boiling salted water, till it's still got just that little touch and bite in it. Of course, you can buy many pastas already made fresh from so many sort of stores these days. But I've got to be honest with you, I really do feel that it's just as good, if not better, to buy dried pasta. And we're just going to warm those in a little touch of butter. I think also just a tablespoon or two of water. That helps create the steam in the pan. Season it up and stir it round. We can almost toss the pasta in the pan like that. Warming already. It's going to take now just seconds. Let's put a lid on top, help create that steam. And it's at this point when we can see that little steam that we're going to be adding the crab meat. So now we're warming that crab through the pasta. I don't want to overcook that, I don't want to boil it, because it'll almost become tough. But I also thought I'd finish it with a little touch of orange segment and some broken tarragon leaves. So let's just quickly segment an orange while that is simmering. Our orange segments and tarragon. Also to help that along, I think we should add a touch of the sauce. Let me turn that out, because that's really nice and warm. There's just one other little extra, and that is the brown crab meat. Something else I don't want to ignore. Now, to warm this through, I'd always suggest make it part of an actual sauce. So again, the equivalent of a tablespoon, and it just loosens the crab meat, and now it's time to dress the complete dish. Take some of the brown crab, there's almost like a sauce just sitting in the base. As you're tucking in, that will collect around the pasta itself, spreading that flavour. And now we're going to finish it with the sauce. Now, this again is an optional extra, but again, it's worth it. We're going to create almost a cappuccino. If you have these absolutely boiling hot, you'll find it doesn't matter how much you blitz it, you will not get quite the froth that you're looking for. An extravagant finish, but worth every second.